Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we will cover AWS Auto Scaling. The agenda of this tutorial is overview of AWS Auto Scaling, introduction to AWS Auto Scaling, what is Auto Scaling, concept of Auto Scaling, benefits of Auto Scaling, Auto Scaling life cycle, launch configuration, Auto Scaling groups, scaling your group. auto scaling limits and demonstration of auto scaling so let's move to the first point what is auto scaling auto scaling helps you ensure that you have a correct number of amazon ec2 instances available to handle the load of your application you create collection of ec2 instances called as auto scaling groups you can specify the minimum number of instances in each auto scaling group and auto scaling ensures that your group never goes below this size you can specify the maximum number of instances in each auto scaling group and auto scaling ensures that your group never goes below this size if you specify the desired capacity either when you create the group or at any time thereafter auto scaling ensures that your group has this many instances If you specify scaling policy then auto scaling can launch or terminate instance as demand on your application increase or decrease So let's see the architecture of auto scaling So as I told you auto scaling is the feature which is provided by the Amazon for running the EC2 instance Suppose you have hosted one web application on EC2 AWS and uh, suddenly the request got increased so the one ec2 instance cannot handle all the request of the client or customer so the auto scaling is a feature which will increase the number of instance depends on the request and demand so here you can see that we have maximum size of auto scaling so we have to set the auto scaling policy minimum and maximum instance so here the minimum size is one instance and maximum size is four and there is a desired capacity of two instance so the number of request suddenly got increase so the auto scaling group will create one more instance and some request will route to that instance so this is the basic definition and architecture of auto scaling so we will see the practical in next session 